We had two primary goals for the new unit. The first was to make this a place that's comfortable for families so that they would spend extended periods of time in intimate contact with their baby. So in this new unit, we intended to create an environment that families would feel really could be their home away from home, and as a result, spend that extended intimate human contact that very few babies have received in our old NICU concepts. The second goal was, once the families are here and interacting with their baby, to actually have them become the center of care, to learn the care, to be a part of the medical decision-making process. Families will just naturally be part of our decision-making team. We knew that, again, from experience in other units, that we would have many secondary benefits. Noise would be better, infection rates would be lower, length of stay would be shorter, parents would be more prepared for taking their baby home and be better bonded with their babies. So we anticipated many positive outcomes from that as secondary goals of this unit design. Some of the things we wanted to preserve from our old unit were the welcoming environment. In our old unit, we have skylights and windows and the access to daylight is really nice and we didn't want to lose that. We wanted to build on that. What we didn't have was privacy for families so that this extended intimate contact with their babies was something that families could feel comfortable with. We didn't hear many moms singing lullabies to their babies and we didn't hear any dads doing that. And there's been a lot of evidence already about mothers and babies, but we're finding that those hormonal changes occur with dads too. So the first skin to skin contact they have with their baby, whether full term or a high risk preterm baby, changes their hormonal makeup. We hope in this new setting they will feel more comfortable doing those sorts of things that you would naturally want to do with your baby. The workflow hasn't changed much from the old unit. We tried not to change too much in that regard. So our nursing assignments are very similar. Obviously the babies are in separate rooms now instead of all in one big open space. But the nursing practice for the day is very similar to what it has been. I think the biggest change for nurses, again, is the presence of families in the room more than has been the case in the past. But because we had some rooming in capability and some couple of care capability in our old unit and really had gotten used to that concept, even that isn't a big change. It's a change in quantity, but not a change in concept. The culture is pretty strong there already, so our nurses adapted to that change easily.